and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who don't know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm doing a little something different on my channel. I'm going to mix all of my foundations together and see what happens. I'm going to start off with this Manic Panic Dream Tone one just because it's my lightest and I've decided to do about three pumps of each one. Some of these aren't pump foundations so I'll kind of estimate it there but I want to get as an even amount as possible and then we're gonna apply it to my face. So I'm using a little bowl that has a, like a little lid because I don't have a bottle and I wasn't gonna order one. Next we'll go with my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. Um, next we'll do the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Finish Foundation. And this one I actually just want to dump a little bit in. That one. Now I'm going to go in with the newest one I have, which is this Catrice HD Liquid Coverage in Sand Beige. Now that that one's in there, we'll go with the Milani Conceal and Perfect in Light Beige. Trying to make sure that I don't forget. Next, we'll go in with the Koki Cosmetics. This is shade 30W. Some of these I used when I was tanner, so we'll see how this goes. Um, next, we'll go with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is one of my favorite foundations, by the way. I just love it. Next, the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation. Look at that. I like this one too. Next is the e.l.f. Um, Flawless Finish Foundation, and this one is in sand. Kind of curious to see how the color comes out. Next is the Revlon Color Stay in Sand Beige. A lot of these are actually very similar in color, and some of them are not. And finally, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Just one. Ah! That was a lot of the matte and poreless. This has now turned into a lot of matte and poreless. Oops. Okay. So now I'm just going to mix it all together and I am going to use a brush of some kind. One that I'm okay with ruining. This one I used um, when I did Halloween tutorials and it has glue on it so I'm not too worried. So I'm just going to mix it all together. We're going to see what we get. And then I am going to do like a check-in and everything for this after a few hours of wearing it. Because I am very curious to see how this goes. That's kind of the color it is. Can you guys see that? I kind of wanted to swatch it. So that's the color. It's not too bad. Okay, so let me get a wipe here. Now I'm going to apply it, but I'm going to apply it with a primer because that's what I would do anyway. So I want to make sure that I don't change too much in my routine. Sorry, I'm like a mess. So I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Radiance Primer here. As you guys know, I love this stuff. Gonna put a little bit of this on. It smells kind of perfumey and chemically all at the same time. <laughs> a little bit like Play Doh. Not even lying. A little bit like Play Doh. I'm actually gonna use a brush, and this is my NYX. Um, foundation brush ok 
curious to see like what it dries down as and if it oxidizes at all. Because if it oxidizes, that's going to be fun. So right now, I would say this is medium coverage. It's not covering everything. But I kind of prefer medium coverage, but I am curious to see if I can build this and I need to take it down my neck a little bit. So, we're going to go in. And a little bit on my neck because we can't do this without sending it down the neck. So far, I really like the color that it is though. Like, that's a win for me. I am going to also powder it, do the rest of my makeup, and all of that. It's very dewy. It is very dewy. I'm very, very dewy. So I'm just going to powder it with my Cody Airspun. I don't want to change or try a new powder or anything like that just because this is one I use and I know how it kind of impacts my foundation. So, a little less overly shiny because holy cow, I was shiny. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I use these two ColourPop Super Chic, Super Shock Cheek, whoa, combining too many words there, an aphrodisiac and a spoon as my highlighter. This is my blush. I use my Too Faced Just Peachy Palette because lately I'm obsessed. Shocker, I don't know. And then I used my Koki Cosmetics Brow Kit. I love this thing. I used my Wet n Wild Eyeliner. I don't know where I put that. Ah, here it is. Wet n Wild Eyeliner, Superhero Mascara. And then this Grave Intentions Cosmetics Lip Color that I'm obsessed with. Well, I will check in in a little bit and let you guys know what this looks like. Thank you so much, and I will be back. Hi, so here I am for my first check-in with that um, crazy foundation mixture I used. I don't know if you guys can see what I can on camera, but right in here, there's some like weird creasing going on. Like it has settled when I make this face. It's like settled and like made those lines permanent in my face and those aren't permanent in my face. So yeah. I also tried to kind of get more natural light. I'm like looking, I have a mirror here. Uh, I just kind of want to see, but that's really the only thing I noticed. And then like right by my nose here, it um, is kind of like not there. And there's like one weird patch right over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. That has, um, yeah, just kind of, not holding anything and I've never noticed that before <laughs> it's very strange but I will say this it has oxidized slightly but not enough to like really make a huge impact or make me change anything um well there you are for the first check-in I will do the next one in a few hours probably after I get off of work right now it is 11 o'clock here um I put this on at about 7 30 so it's been about three and a half hours so yeah We'll see how this wears and if I will wear it again after this. Hello, I'm back for another check-in and it is like 6.30 at night so the foundation has been on for a while and it's kind of like breaking up around here. 
don't know if you guys can see what I can, and like right here, a little bit on my forehead, but not too bad. Give you guys kind of a really awkward close up. <laughs> but yeah, overall it lasted pretty well. Wore really well. I mean, I did this at like 7 this morning and it's still on. So, overall it's been pretty good. Has quite the lasting power. I'm kind of impressed. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my videos on my channel. Please like this video and subscribe if you would like to see more like this. Thank you again and hope you have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are. And bye!